Hi, Cancer. Welcome back. So, Cancer, this is going to be a reading for the week of May 5th, and happy Cinco de Mayo to anybody who celebrates. Um, Cancer, um, this is a general read, not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does resonate, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, also, check out my social media account links down below if you um, would like to catch me there. Um, and let's see what we got going on for you, Cancer. For the week of May 5th. So, Cancer, the overall energy that I have out for the week is the Eight of Swords. Okay, hold on. I just had a bunch of cards fly out. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Ooh, ooh, okay. Uh, is the Eight of Swords here, okay? And this talks about restriction. This is restrictions we place on ourselves. Now, um, generally, it's I see it in a more negative connotation, but not always. Sometimes we have to put restrictions on ourselves. You know, sometimes it's not appropriate to say how we feel or you know hurt other people. Sometimes we need to have that emotional intelligence that lets us know when to proceed and when to hold back. And I, I feel like that's a very important message this week for some reason, because <laughs> I went into a bit of a tangent there, but. That's the overall energy that you're dealing with, okay? Um, in the recent past, these are the cards that flew out. You have the death card here, uh, very scorpion, ener scorpionic like energy. You might have that in your chart. You might be dealing with one. Um, or just, like I said, could be the energy. Then you have the king of swords. This is represents air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be dealing with one of those as well. And then the ten of swords. Cancer. It's very interesting. Um, so I feel like in the past there was obviously a definite ending, you know, uh, probably a cut off in communication, most likely with an air sign or a Scorpio. But like I said, that could just be the energy or placements in your chart or this person's chart. All right. It's a very masculine vibe and I don't feel like this is you, even if you're a male. I feel like um, this is someone that you are dealing with. I think a lot of you felt stabbed in the back by this person, you know, like they just went cold on you, like completely cold on you. Um, and I feel like that gave, that made, that it gave you a sense of, yeah, feeling like I heard, damn, what I do to you, you know, <laughs> somebody might be saying that to you, you then <clears throat> interesting the things that pop in my head, but. I definitely heard that. And so I, I just feel like cancer, either you have done this to someone or someone has done this to you. I feel for most of you, it is some, someone doing this to you, but take it as it resonates, okay? Um, coming up into this week, what can you expect? So that was the past energy. You have the five of wands, the knight of wands, the eight of pentacles. Hmm. Don't leap back into this. Don't. Do not entertain this person. I feel like some of you might be tempted to uh, jump back into a fight that's not yours, you know, or involve yourself into this conflict here. It's like, I, I, it's a, a, a very strong energy of like, I'll save the day. <laughs> like, here I am to save the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's not your battle. I don't feel like it's your battle. I don't know why I feel like that. I just don't. But I feel like you keep inserting yourself into it. You know what I'm saying? Because you think that you can help. All right? Because you want to work on it or something to that effect. Okay? Yep. So I'm going to keep it general. There's a few different other messages here. And then I'm going to break it down into different groups here in a minute. Let me get all the cards out. Okay, you had the same card pop out three times. Hold on one second. Yeah. Um, and it's the Knight of Cups. It's come out three times now. So I put it back and then it came out and then now it's at the bottom of the deck again. So that's important. So I'll get to that in a minute. But 
Towards the end of the week, you have the Wheel of Fortune here, the Magician, and the Four of Pentacles. Mm. So, yeah. Like I said, if you entertain this issue here, if you insert yourself in it, then you will then become part of this cycle. Does that make sense? Like you'll have, you will be involved in this then until the cycle completes. Um, I feel like there is karma most definitely involved this week, okay? And with the magician here and the four of pentacles, I don't actually like the magician here. I feel like it is manipulation. It is somebody holding a grudge. It is... Why did I hear tight ass? <laughs> Somebody's being a tight ass. I don't know what that even means. Like stingy or something? Stingy. Thank you. That's better. Okay. <laughs> there's a um, there's either stinginess here or an inability to let go, which is being stingy. Sorry, whether it's on emotional level or financial level. Yeah, then the King of Swords, the Chariot, the Knight of Swords. What the what? So I'm going to go ahead and break this down into groups and how this may resonate for you this week. That is the general right there. Uh, you can be in one of the groups or all of the groups. Life is complex, so choose which one resonates. Yeah, somebody can't let go of the past. They can't let go. Let it go. I don't know why I felt like the need to yell that, but that's what. <laughs> yeah, and then the two of swords out over the magician. Somebody is purposely manipulating here. Okay. And then, the, like I said, the knight of cups and cancer, this is your card. The chariot, the two of swords again at the bottom of the deck. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so uh, group one, if this is love. Now, don't forget that love is not always our intimate partners. It could be exes, it could be family, it could be friends. Love encompasses a lot, so take it as it resonates. Um, I feel like cancer. Some of you most definitely had an ending, like I said in the beginning, in the past. Why is it here if it's already over? Because... It's not over oh, or it's resurfacing this week. Okay. There's still a lot of thinking about it. There's still a lot of ruminating about it. Okay. Someone feels stabbed in the back and I feel like this week it might be um, coming back around because there's either family conflict going on or there's some sort of issue here that I feel that you are getting ready to leap into. Now, why would you do that? I think that the intention here is that you are thinking that you can help the situation. Um, or someone here is purposely causing conflict as so they can have an opportunity to work on things. Does that make sense? This is really similar to Scorpio's reading. Some of you definitely are dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but if not, if not, then it's just a very Scorpion energy that's surrounding you this week. So if you go look at Scorpio's reading, which if this is resonating, I would highly suggest watching it, especially if you have Scorpio in your chart. It was all about like, if I can't be in your heart, then I'm going to get in your head. <laughs> and uh, someone in that reading, whether it was the Scorpio doing it or someone else, and I feel like these readings, these two readings in particular are linked, was trying to start conflict on purpose to get in someone's head. And I see that here again. So... You know, definitely check out that reading if you're dealing with a Scorpio or you have Scorpio in your chart. For those of you who don't, I still feel like that same message is here, okay? You could also be dealing with air or fire. 
all right but it's just somebody is putting their two cents in where it don't belong and there's a karmic lesson tied to this I definitely feel there's manipulation going on someone is covering up the truth you have the two of swords out twice somebody feels like they need to protect themselves from being manipulated and then there's this energy I clarified the four of Pentacles uh, which to me also represents the fixed signs the four fixed signs Aquarius Leo Scorpio Taurus so you could be dealing with any of those. Uh, but if not, it's just this energy of not letting go. And what do you not, what are they not, are you not letting go of? The past? Hurt? Someone's still hurt. Someone's hurt here. And so their response to this, the way they're dealing with this this week, whether it's you, Cancer, or the person you're dealing with, is to stir the pot. There's a pot stirrer here. <laughs> okay. Um... So heavy caution there, okay? This person may disguise this as a f being a friend. You might have like a frenemy for a few of you, but there is a friendship card here or you're hearing about this through a friend or it involves a friend, something to deal with this. So yeah. That's love. Now, if this, that was group one. Group two, if this is career, it's the same message, but it's occurring in the work environment, okay? There might be a lot of competition in the work environment. Um, some of you have, may have a very demanding boss. Very, a very logical, uh, intelligent, but also not very em empathetic. Or cancer, if you're the boss, then this is your energy. This is how other people are viewing you. They're viewing you as all about business, but not able to tap into like the more um, emotional or empathetic side that comes with leadership. <clears throat> okay, and that might actually cause some conflict this week for you. Um, and I feel like you, you know, be careful about what you insert yourself or how you assert yourself, okay? Because if it's taken the wrong way, it could make things hostile, is what I heard, or combative. <laughs> you might be dealing with a combative person in the work environment. Um, you know, and I feel like, um, yeah. If that occurs, then I feel like you've made an enemy. Some, some of you have made an enemy within the work environment. And now they feel they need to protect themselves from you or you, they. They feel like you're holding a grudge against them. Uh, like favoritisms or something to deal with that. Um, like you're not telling them everything. You know what I'm saying? Some of you feel like someone's out to get you at work. Or someone you're working with, they feel like you're out to get them. I strongly feel, like I said, if you are in a position of power in the work environment, then someone feels this way towards you. If not, then this, I feel like, is your boss then. Or someone who has a higher authority in the work environment, or they feel they do. <laughs> you know, every, like every workplace has that one, like, coworker that has the same exact job as you, but they feel like they're the boss of everybody you know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm, I'm getting like that vibe here you know so um yeah zodiac signs you could be dealing with whether you're in group one or group two like I said heavy heavy Scorpio most likely dealing with Scorpio this week uh but I also have heavy air Aquarius Libra Gemini Cancer, your card is out. Could be another Cancer, and I have Sagittarius out. Aries or Leo. Or like I said, that just could be the energy that you are holding this week or different placements in your chart. Take it as it resonates. It's going to be different for all of you. 
Either way, I love you. I wish you all the best. Thanks for joining me. And namaste.